Ryan here with Prudential Pest Solutions, and we are looking at a yellow jacket nest that was in the ceiling of a bathroom in Westchester, Pennsylvania, which is in southeastern Pennsylvania. So this client had called, and they originally thought they had a, a wet spot in their third floor bathroom. And what they discovered was the drywall was super wet. There was a little bit of staining on it, and they were like, oh, we just have a water leak maybe. Maybe we need a roofer or a handyman out here. And he pokes his finger through, and lo and behold, it's a yellow jacket nest. So those yellow jackets immediately flood this bathroom. And, um, you know, the homeowner couldn't get a quick, they only got a quick glimpse of what the insect was. And they thought it was originally honeybees and not wanting to kill honeybees. They, um, there's the hole there that they were coming through that he poked his finger through. So thinking they were honeybees, he called, uh, an apiarist, uh, a beekeeper. The beekeeper comes out and he says, no, no, I don't want those. Those are yellow jackets. So then where is next call then? Because I don't deal with honeybees, I deal with singing insects like hornets, wasps, and uh, and yellow jackets. So what we're going to do here is, if you've seen our other videos, it's very, very similar. We're going to use our PTPI. We're suited up. I'm going to put a drop cloth down so we can collect the nest and not make a huge mess. So we're going to treat the nest, remove the nest, and then apply a long-term residual, tape off the area, and then do a final cleanup so that when we are when we leave, the only thing that homeowner has to do is uh, have somebody come in and just repair a little section of uh, a drywall, just a little patch there. So I'm just making sure I have my tools that I need, which is my PTPI aerosol dispenser, my drywall saw, a flashlight, and my one of my favorite tools, which is that putty or the painter's multi-tool there, which is like a scraper prior kind of thing. So I put my big thick gloves on because yellow jackets, as you start to treat the nest, they like to sting really the first thing that they come across. And when you're applying a product like PTPI into the opening, they'll tend to go right after the hands first. So again, that's the hole that the homeowner made thinking it was a water leak. And again, the drywall is so soft because the nest is right above that. So we're just going to apply our PTPI directly into that opening. And generally speaking, when I apply it, in, when I apply the product into the nest, we are looking to treat and kill off as many yellow jackets as possible before we start opening up uh, more of the drywall. And the reason for that is if we just were to open up the drywall, you would have hundreds of Yellow jackets flood that room there. And not that we can't take care of that, but it makes cleanup and it makes the treatment a lot smoother and more professional if uh, if everything kind of, all the nesting material and the bulk of the dead yellow jackets drop right onto our drop cloth there. So right now I have my drywall saw and I'm just going to open up uh, the soft spot of the drywall. So again, we don't need to open up a huge section. I usually just remove the area right around the damaged and compromised drywall. And keep in mind, this drywall is supposed to be a half inch thick. And, and you see how my drywall saw is just kind of cutting right through it like it's nothing. And that's because this area is so thin because the yellow jackets were chewing at the, at the drywall beneath. And you see how thin that is. And that's supposed to be half inch thick. Like I said, the homeowner stuck his finger through, but the drywall itself is just paper thin. So there's a picture of it uh, with it opened up there in the drywall section. All the white that we see there is uh, is the brood that's capped off. So those are the larvae that are matured into uh, about to mature into adults, and they would uh, emerge here in the next few days or few weeks. So you can see each one of those caps would be more yellow jackets. So this nest would just keep growing and growing and growing until uh, you know until the winter. But in this case. They were chewing at the drywall so much that created a little uh, soft spot and that allowed them to enter the bathroom here. So now I'm going to take my painter tool and I'm just going to try to remove as much of the nest in as single sections as possible. So 
So this wasn't the largest nest that we removed out of uh, out of homes, but it had a lot of uh, brood cells in it that were ready to emerge. So even though the the nest wasn't big right now, um, had that drywall not shown indications of uh, of being soft, another week, another few weeks, another month, and this could have been enormous. So um, you know, it's kind of good that the homeowner found the issue now. Not the greatest camera angle here. I got the uh, the camera mounted on my helmet and I'm uh, pretty close to the ceiling. So we're kind of just getting a sideways view, but I'm just reaching in there. I want to make sure that I have every bit of that nest removed and all the nesting, uh, the paper and whatnot that, uh, that, that covers the nest. So we just want to make sure all that's cleared out. And the more nests we remove, the more areas I'm going to apply that PTPI to again, because yellow jackets have a tendency um, when they're in a structure like this, you'll remove a big section of the nest and all of a sudden you'll uncover a section that wasn't, that the chemical hadn't reached yet. So, um, you know, as I remove big sections of the nest, I'll just keep retreating the area just to make sure we have everything uh, killed off. Now I'm just visually inspecting to make sure everything's out of there. And you can also hear too, you know, using your ears is an important part of this because when you first apply that chemical, you hear a loud buzz, you'll hear a loud, um, vibration in the wall itself from hundreds of these yellow jackets kind of being treated at once. And then after a few minutes, it'll just die off and it'll be very, very quiet. And, uh, and that's how we'll know that, uh, that we're ready to apply our long-term residual dust, which is what I'm doing now. So I'm using a bulb duster to apply a tempo dust into the area. And what this is really good for is any yellow jackets that are out of the nest, when they come back, they're going to come across this and it's going to kill them. So once the nest is treated, removed, and we put that long-term residual dust in there, it's time to close up the opening. Now it's kind of tough to see from this camera angle here, but this opening is maybe only six inches by six inches. We don't need to remove a huge section of drywall, just the area that was already damaged and the area right around it. Just enough that we can get the nest out, get the compromised drywall out, and then we're going to tape it shut here. So when these homeowners originally called us, it was an emergency, right? There's hundreds of stinging insects in their third floor bathroom here. And when we leave, the opening is closed up, taped off, and treated so that now they can really, you know, take their time, breathe a sigh of relief, and then, you know, have somebody come in to do the actual dry roll repair. And you see the window there in the background. So almost always when yellow jackets come through into the livable space, they're going to go right towards a light source, thinking that it's the outside. So in this case, you know, there, there are lights behind me on the vanity, but um, they weren't on at the time. So they the yellow jackets immediately went towards that window, thinking that it was a way out. And I think we have a, a closer up. Uh, shot of that, but you'll see that the whole window casing, there's there's live yellow jackets in there because they were just kind of huddled together once their nest was exposed and they were in a livable place. They didn't really know what to do. So they went towards the light and they kind of just huddled together. So now I'm just making sure we got a little bit of taping left. We just want to make sure everything's taped off, that nothing can get through there again until it's professionally fixed and that'll give the homeowner some peace of mind too knowing that nothing can come through there again one of the things I like to do for our clients is I like to take pictures of the nest when it's in the ceiling or in the wall and also when it's on the ground um, to really show how much is in there Kind of like a little souvenir for the client to, to remember their experience. So here's a close-up. Like I said, all those white caps are, uh, are all the brood. You can see there's a big section there. And uh, some larvae. So, you know, you can see how paper thin that drywall was. I mean, again, that's supposed to be half an inch thick. And you can tell it's almost just the paint holding that together. 
And then this is what I was talking about. So this is all of those there are still alive, not on the windowsill, but right where the window meets uh, meets the framing there. And again, these guys were uh, had made it into a little place, and they're like, "Hey, let's get out of here. Let's go towards the window." Didn't quite make it. So once everything's treated and removed, I have a battery powered vacuum that I use to clean everything up. It does have a HEPA filter, which doesn't really come into play here. That's more for our insect control, but um, it's nice. It's on our backpack, um, very mobile, uh, and allows us to easily and professionally get all, everything cleaned up. So we're just getting all the dead yellow jackets, the any of the nesting material um, that was small, and, um, and any of the drywall dust and stuff like that. So when we leave, this is going to be perfectly clean like nothing ever happened. The only way you would know something happened is because there's some tape over the opening from where we removed the nest. And that's just how we that's just how we do business. One thing I will say too is that we always check not just the window sills, but there's like a half curtain above there. Um Yellow jackets, when they go towards the window, sometimes they'll collect on there too. So I always shake those out to make sure, make sure we have every last yellow jacket out of there. So when I leave, there are no yellow jackets in this room. I'm just gonna pop this window open to make sure that we get uh, you know the windowsill all cleaned up. And again, just being very thorough, making sure everything's cleaned up. That's just part of our professional's job that we offer. And a quick look to look at our handsome exterminator, Semper Fi Marine. So again, this nest was located in Westchester, Pennsylvania, and we are the experts at dealing, treating, and preventing yellow jackets, hornets, bees, and wasps from entering your structure and endangering your family. So if you have a pest issue, give Prudential Pest Solutions a call or text us at 484-401-4361.